second today to talk to you about creating hanging indents in Google Docs. One issue that a lot of people have when they're making the transition from using Microsoft Office to using Google Docs is trying to find that hanging indent. So I'm going to give you an example of how to do this today and hopefully you can use it with your students and hopefully it's helpful. So what we've got here, I just opened up a Google Doc. Um, it just has a very simple paragraph, the preamble to the Constitution. So I want to create a hanging indent with this. So what I'm going to do is highlight my paragraph. And if you look up here, I have an upside down blue triangle. And then I also have a small blue rectangle above it. So what I want to do is I want to take this and drag it over to the spot where I want my hanging indent to start. Um, I went at about five little um, tick marks there. So now in order to actually create the hanging indent part, I'm going to take the um, small rectangle above my triangle, lots of shapes today, and I'm going to drag that back to the original spot. So go ahead and put that right there, and voila, there we have our hanging indent. So if I were to, for example, create a Works Cited page, I would tab down, or enter down, I'm sorry, and let's say I'm starting a new paragraph. And if you look, whenever Google Docs catches up with me, this has created a hanging indent as well. So this will continue on basically until you tell Google Docs you want it to stop by moving uh, and adjusting those um, shapes on your tab ruler or your page ruler. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks. Bye.